Well now, all my three stacks of my chrome ingot is made it. All is left is to turn them out on cables and make the coils. Yay! And here you have it, all my my chrome cable. Oh my! Let's do some cable. Right. The bow. Double. And double again. Now let us make the coils. Nichrome coil block. Finally. Let's take some copper because I don't have any more. Let's remove all this crypto nickel coils and have something better. You just have to stay in the middle, don't you? Here we go, just as and now it cooks. Acting items at each process. That's a lot better. Now to upgrade this one. Everything is done, now with this I can finally smelt tungsten. Wow, now I have my resource cooked so much faster. Well then, as promised, I'd like to say goodbye to my old alumentum factory. I won't be using it anymore. Let's see if the TPS get better after breakdown. All of this. Maybe if the code is improved on Minecraft point ten, we could return to use the Towncraft stuff. But I still gonna know so my ex extinction and alchemical furnaces anyway. But that will just be to feed the growth lamp so I can have more crops be processed. Now that I have forsaken the elemental, I'm probably gonna make a huge methane farm since it seems to be very easy and simple to make and since it uses great tech machines, it should not lag so much as DC stuff. I just still don't know if I make a double 80 moot block or a full 16 moot block.
Okay, you know work. Fine, I I'll pick break tech one. Let you see you resist the crowbar of Gregorius. <laughs> Now the only thing left is you. Perish, perish, perish. And everything is broken down. As you see, I already removed the golem. And my inventory is full. Inventory is full. Let's stuff this in this chest. Not enough space. But that will serve for now. I will clean this mess and think what they're gonna make here. I'm trying to think of moving and make it two multi blocks to make methane and leave the recycler here so any excess product from the farms will go to recycler. And remove since I'm gonna place there. I should move the centrifuge to there because this is the one that make methane anyway. And place the macerators here to get any extra wood, make wood pulp to recycle it. Because I'm gonna start needing some of you matter very soon. And I still don't know why I make the machines on side if I could make them on the front. Some drop of my part I think. <laughs> because it's it's a cube, so it doesn't matter the position. <laughs> we shall see, we shall see how things go, but it's not easy. My automation, the creation of crops up there is going to be changed. And they are gonna make the system better looking and effective. After taking my sweet time, I finally made it more, um, not a much block. Well, it's not a much block, but it is supposed to be. It's just a basic hawk breaker, so I can have my cobblestone whenever I need it to make either sand or gravel. It was a way to get sand, but... If you hammer it, you have gravel, and hammer is actually pulverizer, true. So now I can get my sand and my gravel wherever I need it. And I need it to fill the water gap below my base, so I can expand the underground to a great more farms and crops. But I move my mood smelter to the side. But this isn't much a uh, hustle. I try to make the much block with the water on, water on top, but it don't accept it to be on the sides. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Well, but at least I still have my back passage. And this had a granite will not break so easy as the reinforced class. I will prepare the terrain for the change, but I don't have time now on this day to make the transfer the centrifuges here and move this one step forward and all the other stuff. I start scanning something but it will take just five fifty thousand minutes. So it is gonna take a while. And it will dry a lot of energy. That's why I'm keeping all my boilers running for now. 
so it can have power. We need more power. Funny fact is that when my all my cook ovens are working, this boiler can run almost forever. I was getting low on water. This tank was getting empty, but now it's filling back. I need to make some changes on it. Added more pipes, and thanks to Gregorius T because he has informed me that the multi-block have a limit on the input of liquids so I need to, pay to place a pump to force it to accept more than that because or else this will gonna get empty and my boys are gonna explode and that's not a good thing but on a side note it's just taking a heavy tool on my tanks now this one is empty and this one is getting empty just as this one I guess I need more water tanks then hopefully on the next 12 hours nothing bad gonna happen and I end with a, a hole on what I was called once a base. I'll start to accumulate some some steam. Not bad, huh? But you're probably gonna run out of fuel soon. It's hardly increasing, but it probably run out first. Now then, 12 hours. Let's see if I have a, a hole here or not. It'll be pretty bad.